What's going on guys, it's Subum Saint bringing you another review and this week I'm bringing it on to Kennedy24. So, first off I wanted to talk to you guys about my giveaway I did last week. I will be announcing a winner on January 3rd, so get definitely hang in there guys. I just want to make sure I give everybody a chance to win this device and all that good stuff. So, I also want to talk to you guys about my logo and my everything i kind of changed the color i did change the color to an orange instead of green because i feel like green is just overused by so many people that i kind of wanted to separate myself and kind of stand out a little bit above the crowd so i used my other favorite color orange as kind of my little logo thing so i hope the change is not too much for you guys i know it's not that big of a deal i just wanted to let you guys know you know that I did change it just for purposes that everybody uses green and you know not very many people use orange so I kind of want to be different I want to be different guys I want to be a better and different reviewer I want people to be like hey that dude on the orange man you know what I mean anyways 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 so today we will be taking a talk and a look at the Kennedy 24. I know this has been out for quite some time. I just had to do a review on it because I've recently got my hands on it and I love this thing. But you're going to need your vape budget hands. It's going to run you about $100. About $105, I believe. $105. So yeah, it's really, really, really pricey. So... Without further ado, I say we take a couple vapes, dive down up close, get to the nitty and the gritty, and we'll come back and talk about it, guys. And by the way, it looks great on the RX. Check out that. Nice, right? Anyways, let's do this. All right, here we are with the nitty and the gritty of the Kennedy 24. As you can see, the nice engraving in it non adjustable copper 510. Wide bore drip tip, definitely a wide bore. Held on by an o ring sitting up in there in the lip. Let me pop it on my little doodad here. She is a little snug, but when she's juiced up, it, it is definitely smooth sailing, easy to go with. Right here is the build deck. These are um, post holes are two millimeters. It would have been nice to see them a little bit bigger, you know, um, maybe three millimeters, something like that. The way you can get more of them crazy builds in it. As you can see the build deck right here. You have a lot of space for cotton. I mean a lot of space. As you can see your coils will sit right about here. You try to get them as centered as you can over these air holes. Your airflow will come in through here. Up through here and up in your mouth hole. So keep in mind that. Have not had all that many problems leaking with this device. Is I'm not that big of a bottom airflow fan, but it, just because of the whole leaking process, because I, I I'm not gonna lie, I am a over dripper to the max. So it's definitely I don't have that much leaking problems with this one. I mean, if you cake it on, you're obviously gonna it's gonna come through the bottom. But if you kind of paint it on there and Fill your juice well up, you should be good. Nice little deck, nice little deck. Also would have liked to have seen them go with a four post or two post build deck instead of a three post. Three post is kind of difficult to build on at times, especially when you're trying to center your coils. Plus, I'd like to have seen this center post squared so it won't turn on you. Now, I've not had any problems with mine turning on me, but 
only time will tell. But anyways, guys, that is the Kennedy 24mm. Very nice RDA. I mean, I have no complaints with it whatsoever, except for the post holes being a little small. But anyways, we will slap a build on this bad boy, and we will go back to FaceTime and vape on it, talk about it. All that good stuff. Let's do this, y'all. Alright guys, that was my up close and the nitty and the gritty of that device. Let me just tell you guys that I really love the flavor that I get off of this. I love the cloud production. I actually love the airflow. I know it has no adjustable airflow, but I like the way it vapes. It's just a swishy vape. It is not too tight, it's not too loose, it's just right for me. Now, my pros and my cons with this device. My pros is I love, love the way it looks, I love the way it performs. My cons is the post holes. The post holes are only two millimeters wide, you know, it's kind of hard to fit in like those crazy big old Clapton builds, so you're not gonna get that many crazy builds in this RDA. Uh, I do like that it's 24 millimeters because it gives me so much more space to work with and so much more wicking. I do not have that much problems with it leaking on me. I do have condensation build up on my mod, but that's that's to come to expect it. You know, you have airflow coming up and juice and all that, so you're gonna have condensation on your mod. Other than that, guys, man, I really don't have all that many cons about this device. Um, I do not like the three post design. I don't like that it's a certain uh, a round center p or ah positive post there we go I don't like that I wish it was a little squared off that way it'd prevent from spinning I do not know if it's gonna spin on me so just I don't know we're just gonna have to have it for a little bit more time and I guess only time will tell right but other than that guys I really do not have that many cons about the device I mean the price point is a little off I mean it's really 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 pricey so that to me is kind of a big con to me but anyways, other than that guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video and don't forget to share that giveaway from last week. I want to make sure I can give everybody a chance and I might even try to buy that adapter piece for it that goes with it. That way I can make sure I give everybody a full setup. That way they know that they can just straight up vape on it right away as soon as they get it. But I don't know. We'll see. I mean, you guys are just going to have to follow me on Instagram or Google Plus or Twitter or whatever. I'm always on there. I'm always commenting on everything. I'm always staying up to date and posting pictures and just randomness of what my setups are and what I'm vaping on that day. And yeah. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And you know what? I really need to start vaping a little bit more in my videos. I've noticed that. Also, let me know what you guys think about the orange instead of the green. I'm digging it, but gotta let you guys know. You got, you gotta let me know. You got, hey, you, yeah, you, you're watching this, yeah, yeah. See, you, you, tell me if you like it. Until then, guys, you guys keep those coils wet, and I'll see you guys next week with the announcement, the winner.